On today's Smart Robots Review, we're looking at the Kano, K-A-N-O, PC Kit. This is a microcomputer that children and students can build on their own. It is packed with great applications and games designed to teach children programming and concepts about computers. All in all, a great STEM device, a fully functional computer. I will give you a great overview, how to install it, things to know, so stay with me. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. Hey everyone, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics and other fantastic tech from around the world. I'm your host Elias and it's great to have you here. Today's episode is all about Kano, K-A-N-O, PC kit. This is a do-it-yourself, build-your-own microcomputer, only two and a half by four inches big, fits in the palm of your hand, intended for ages eight and up, designed to teach programming, concepts about computers, all in this little small package. If you haven't seen the unboxing video yet, please check it out. It will serve as a good introduction to today's episode. So here we have the keyboard with a built-in mouse pad. Nice and slim. We're going to be using that, so let's set that aside. Uh, here's the computer itself based on the Raspberry Pi microcontroller. And it's coming with, it comes with a enclosed case, so we're going to use that. Here's the speaker we're going to be attaching to that. Let's set that aside as well. A micro SD card connected to an adapter. We're going to have the power adapter for the computer, powering up the computer. HDMI cable, we're going to use that to connect the computer to a monitor or TV. And finally, the power cable, that's going to go to is going to connect to the power adapter. Finally, we have of course the manual and stickers that come along with it. The manual as we showed you in the unboxing episode is beautifully illustrated and organized. Here, let me open it up and we can uh, take a look at the first initial pages here. So clearly, beautifully illustrated, designed for a young person to be able to read this and assemble this computer on their own. So very nicely done. Uh, in the very first section you can see clear beautiful illustrations of the contents we looked at, the speaker, the, the computer based on Raspberry Pi, you have the keyboard and the cables. Time to build the computer. So let's go over what we see here. This is the computer itself based on the Raspberry Pi controller and on the side here you can see it's got four USB ports it has an RJ45 port for connecting an Ethernet cable connecting your computer to the network via that cable on the side you have also a stereo plug for audio the HDMI port for connecting to the monitor or computer and finally the power port on the back of this board there is a slot for the micro SD card and that's where we're going to be plugging that in. Flipping it back over, this is uh, a set of pins you use to connect different uh, attachments to the controller. In this case, we're only going to be using two of those pins. So let's put the motherboard or the little controller here into the case and every step I'm going to take is all illustrated clearly in the manual. The sides of this box here, the case, snap in really easily. You just have to apply a little pressure on the sides and they snap in. And now okay, we want to connect time the to last attach the side microphone of the box, part which, which is located on the on the speaker. final side of the box we're going to be attaching. And again, the manual here does a great job showing you how to connect every piece step by step. Now on this final piece with the microphone attached to it, there's a little what we call a jumper. This jumper is connected to a cable and ultimately connected to the microphone. That jumper has to receive power in order for uh, you to get sound out of that speaker. And for that, you have to connect it to 
two of those pins on the little Raspberry Pi board. Let's look at the manual here. So the manual shows you exactly which pins to attach to. See right there. And we're gonna do just that. So let's go ahead and connect that jumper to the pins as indicated on the motherboard. This is the only part of the build process that I recommend some parental guidance. It is totally safe, but you just wanna make sure the cables are connected to the right pins. Finally, you just have to attach the top part onto the rest of the case and you're all done. All right, so now we have to connect the audio cable into the stereo plug right there. Then remove the micro SD card from the adapter and insert the micro SD card into the computer. Quick tip here, don't force the micro SD card in there. If it's not going in, it means you have it in wrong. Make sure you take it out, flip it over, and try again. These are designed to slide right in. Next up, grab the keyboard and remove the little adapter that's on its side here. And we're gonna use that by plugging it into one of the USB ports of the computer. So this is an adapter that will allow communication, wireless communication between the computer and the keyboard. Finally, we need to connect the computer to a monitor or a TV. For that, you can use the included yellow HDMI cable to connect your computer to the monitor or TV or any HDMI cable in your home to do the same thing. And finally, when you're ready to turn on the computer, plug in the power cable into the computer box and that should do it. All right, so let's see what happens when you first power, to power the computer on. I happen to use the monitor in the studio, but any TV, modern TV with an HDMI port or monitor should be able to do the job. And here we go. I love the approach that Kano has implemented in this computer kit. It is very consistent and it tries to teach the user, the young adult, the child or the adult using the kit at every step of the way. From the manual being beautifully illustrated and explaining every little step and explaining the components to the point where you actually plug it in and it tells you what it does at every point of the every stage of the operation. The experience becomes personalized right away by asking the person's name, you enter your name and then it starts to teach you through every step of the power up process. And right away, you get exposed to things like transistors and switching. I will avoid getting too technical in this video, but I can tell you from everything I've seen here, the child using this computer will be exposed right away to terms used in the IT world today, taking them down the rabbit hole of knowledge. So really quick here, they're talking about binary code. They're showing you what binary code is. You're entering a password. You're being exposed to a Linux terminal. You're entering a password. You're seeing ASCII graphics and even asking the user to enter a Linux command into the terminal so you can move on to the next step. Not something you would find in your typical STEM kit. So this is great, I'm very impressed. Let's keep moving. So typing the command and executing it brings you into this little maze. You're gonna guide your little guy, your little character to the destination here. And you're gonna press enter to move on to the next stage. 
after a quick video and audio setup, you get to customize your avatar any way you want, following by a prompt to connect to a wireless network. Ultimately, you're guided to a dashboard. It's This is like a desktop of sorts. Okay, so here you can see the desktop is beautifully illustrated again with colors and sounds. On the very right of the screen, it's asking you to run a software update. And because we just powered up the Kano computer for the very first time, it will probably ask you this. For me, the process took an hour, but I highly recommend getting this out of the way so that your applications are up to date. Following the update, the computer will reboot and you'll end up in the desktop. Here, there's so many things to see and explore. I can go on for another hour talking about the Kano computer. Instead, I want to make sure this video gives you an idea, a general idea about the product and if it's something that you might be interested in. I'm going to create another video that goes more into the programming aspect. And in that video, we're going to use the Kano computer and its applications here to hack Minecraft and create our own programs. I'm also going to have bonus content for Patreon users. If you guys are interested in supporting me, check out the Patreon link below. And I look forward to creating some exclusive content for you. So there's an island adventure here. You explore this island and you're learning about computer concepts along the way. It's beautifully guided, really easy to use, some, an interface that a child will be able to pick up right away. In the process, you're getting to play some classic games like Pong, even create your own Pong game get exposed to computer concepts and how a computer works, computer components. You are solving for quests and during that process you are unlocking tidbits of information that you're going to use in the game and in the process you are being exposed to all this great knowledge. So very well done. I think uh, they've done a, just a tremendous job here blending learning with playing. On a near future episode of Smart Robots Review, I'm going to go over the programming aspects of this product, but I want to let you know ahead of time, from what I've seen and tried, this is by far the very best tool for teaching coding to young adults or young children. The interface is very simple, they have step-by-step -step lessons, it's very, very easy to learn coding with this product by far the very best I've seen so far. So this that's gonna be a great episode, stay tuned for that. Getting back to the main topic here about the whole system, uh, this is just again very well done. It is a fully functional computer with a boatload of applications from the unique ones like Hack Minecraft to more common ones like browsing the web or going onto YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, make sure you check out the video Elisa and I did unboxing the counter product. We have a lot of information there that you might find useful as well. And overall, I just love this product. I highly recommend the Kano Computer Kit. It retails for about $150 in the US on Amazon right now, but prices do vary. There's an optional pixel kit and motion sensor kit. If you have a laptop, you can connect them directly to that laptop or you can connect them to your Kano computer kit and all you need is a monitor or TV to connect it to and you're ready to go. So overall, I love this product, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. The opinion that matters the most is your opinion. So leave your feedback, your comments, all that in the section below. And until next time, thank you for watching Smart Robots Review.